Introducing XP Bullet, the amazing new collision system for X Particles and Cinema 4D. With fast and accurate collisions for particles, recursive shattering, destruction Zs, MoGraph cloners, constraints and soft bodies. XP Bullet brings powerful, intuitive and fully integrated collisions into Cinema 4D and X Particles. In this scene we have this animated alembic running man. Let's say we want to create a stylized particle shot. Well we can emit from that running man and stick the particles to it and it runs along nicely. But let's say we want this to disintegrate over time. So we set up an unstick from source action. When the running man goes through the field, the particles drop to the floor. But you can see we don't have realistic collisions between the particles themselves or even between them and the floor. So let's get our XP bullet rigid bodies tag. And now we're getting those accurate particle to particle collisions and the collisions with the floor itself. Let's make our running man geometry invisible now and we'll explore using different particle display options. We'll activate these two groups and now we're getting accurate collisions between spheres and pyramids. We can change this, let's go with arrow filled and whatever particle display mode we get, we will get accurate particle to particle collisions for those shapes. We can trigger actions via these bullet collisions with a new emitter question. This asks if a particle has collided with a bullet object, then we can get that to drive the action. So let's set up a spawning action. And now when our particles collide with that bullet floor, they spawn these nice impact particles. In this destruction scene, we have a wall set up using XP Shatter, and that XP Shatter has its own XP Bullet tag, making it dynamic. Let's add more detail with this spline on a new layer, and then we'll hit play with perfect collisions. Now we can connect these larger pieces together using the XP bullet constraints. We'll explore this in full later. But here we can take this generated object, in this instance a shatter, we can connect those points to itself and we can set thresholds so it's only connecting the larger pieces. Now when we hit play, the larger pieces are left static and the smaller ones can break away. Let's create even more detail now with our shatter by including some recursive shattering. So we'll set up a new shatter layer, we'll set it to trigger on collision, and now they will only shatter once more once they have made a bullet collision. So if we follow this large piece there, it shatters as it hits the floor. So now we have some nice looking detail in this. Let's create some debris. So we'll move into a scene camera and we're going to omit some particles from the platonic. There they are. These have their own bullet tag, so these particles will be dynamic, but we're going to use them to drive some generated shards. So now we've automatically created lots more rubble in this explosion. So now we want to add some dust elements, so we'll create another emitter. This is going to emit particles, which we're going to use to create an explosion effects sim. So we'll activate our Explosure Effects dynamic object. And now if we play through, we have dust simulating through our dynamic wall shatter too. In this scene, we'll use XP Bullet to create a procedural domino rig. So here we have a particle spitting out this arrow emitter and we're going to spawn from its position and these spawn particles will become our dominoes. So we'll activate a floor. Let's activate our two XP generators. And these will scale up our dominoes and when they get to full size, they'll become dynamic. We have an animated sphere collider to knock them over. And here we have our self-generating domino rig. And all we need to do to manipulate this is to affect our one arrow particle. So let's activate this attractor modifier and now wherever we drag it, it will attract that arrow which will then change the path of our dominoes. 
And so the true power of XP bullet rigid bodies is that we could use it in conjunction with the whole X particles toolkit. So let's switch off that attractor and let's set up a different sim. Now we're going to try it with an XP rotator modifier, which is going to give this nice spiraling effect to our arrow. So of course our dynamic dominoes will follow. So this is procedural, so let's get more particles in there. We'll change this to a circular emission of seven. And now we're getting a very interesting look. Of course, fully dynamic, still procedural. But where the particles are intersecting, we have an issue. So let's stop those intersections. We're going to generate a trail from behind our arrow particles. And we'll use this in an avoid modifier so they freeze before they intersect. Now we can reactivate our generators. Let's also switch on a color modifier, which will give them a color based on their direction. And now we have this very interesting sim, fully procedural and art directable. You can connect dynamic objects using XP bullet constraints. In this scene, we have a crane arm and we have this magnet. We want to link them together. So these chains are purely visual. They do not link the objects, they're separate. How do we do that? Well, let's go to our XP bullet constraints and you can see we have our magnet as a child of our crane ring. We have the connection type set to fixed. And if we hit play, you can see we have now that fixed connection between those two objects but we want it to swing. So let's try point to point. And now we're getting that same connection, but now we're getting that all important swing for this animation. Other connection types include cone, where we can limit that swing angle. Here you'll see it knock against the edge of the cone. We can also use hinge. This rotates on an axis and this has its own motor. So here we're driving that rotation with speed and force settings. We can also use a slider connection, which sets up this connection and slides between these two points, which of course are adjustable. And we can choose a spring to connect our objects. And here we have this nice springy motion between our connection of our crane arm and our magnet. Let's put that back to point to point, which is the most simple one for our animation. And now we'll introduce some metal boxes. We want the magnet to pick up these boxes. So if we press play, these clones are being nicely knocked over here. We've got a really nice simulation, but they're not sticky. So we can layer more than one connection within our XP bullet constraints object. So let's drag in the magnet. We'll make the metal boxes a child of the magnet and set the constraint type to sticky. And now when that magnet goes through the pile of metal boxes, they stick to it and they swing away. Let's just make those display constraints invisible and we can see that animation working. So the hugely versatile XP bullet constraints for connecting dynamic objects. XP bullet can simulate soft bodies as well. So here we have a balloon sim. It's looking nice and wobbly, but we need to reverse its local gravity. So it's forced upwards rather than downwards. But what we'd like to do is attach it to an object. So we have an anchor rigid bodied simulation here and we can anchor those two together using XP bullet constraints. We'll set a point selection to anchor it to our torus. And now you can see it is stuck and you can see that anchor point pulling down on the soft body. Let's make some adjustments. We will make it less stiff. We'll reduce that internal pressure of our balloon. And now we're going to get some nice animation. We can reduce the weight of our anchor object by decreasing its density. That means it's not going to be able to pull our helium balloon down so quickly. We can even change our anchor object from being a rigid body to being a collision body. And now we can animate it ourselves manually for precise control. You can anchor as many objects as you desire using one XP bullet constraints object. Here we have three balloons. Let's say that we want the red balloon to break away though. Well, we can break at time on that constraint. Let's set it to 100 frames. 
and then in the green we'll break it at 245 frames. So as we now play our animation, the balloons are kind of holding the anchor. There goes the red, and now the anchor is able to pull down the green and blue more easily. Here goes the green, and now it's just left with the blue, and of course the anchor has reached the floor and is holding that balloon down. The new collision system for X-Particles and Cinema 4D. Fast, accurate, intuitive, fully integrated. For use on particles, generated objects, scene objects, MoGraph cloners, with both rigid and soft-bodied simulations and constraints, this is XP Bullet.